What's going on there guys? Good evening. It's Earthmaster here on this beautiful Saturday, July 2nd, 2022 date, uh, about 8.07 p.m. West Coast time here in California. I'm sitting out here next to my beautiful co-host, Missy Mimi. What's going on there, girl? Oh, nothing much. How's it going, guys? <laughs> it's going right. Hey, just a heads up. If you didn't catch our 75,000 subscriber giveaway video, go check it out. Enter to win a few prizes out there. Six lucky people will be catching some cool prizes. So go check it out. It's up live on the YouTube channel. Latest Quake shows a 1.9 earthquake here along the big island of Hawaii. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here from the USGS map showing the last 24 hours of activity. Got a little bit of movement here near the uh, Myanmar area. Uh, looks like a 5.3 earthquake coming in within the last hour. Uh, looking at the big picture here, pretty scattered activity around the Pacific Plate. Looks like we had a little bit of movement out here south of the Philippines into the Indonesia area with a 5.3. Uh, that one occurring uh, looks like earlier this afternoon as well. So a little bit of push of movement westward with this area right here. Also seen some movement near the uh, Cairo, what is that? <laughs> uh, Kyrgyzstan? Is it Kyrgyzstan? That might be right. I think that that's pretty accurate, I believe. We'll go with that, 5.3 in that area of the world. Uh, that one again earlier this afternoon at 11 kilometers. Some further aftershock sequences here in the area of Iran where they seen that uh, pretty large earthquake here just a uh, day couple. or so ago. A couple of them, right? We've seen quite a few sixes in that area. Um, originally, we did have three sixes, but uh, for whatever reason, they deleted one of them and put in a 5.7. But uh, either way, still uh, quite a bit of earthquake activity in that region. Uh, but over the last 24 hours, quite a few fours, aftershock sequences in that region there of Iran see what else we got here up in the Japan area seeing some further deep movement into the Kuril Kamchaka Trench looks like a couple fours down there off the coast of Russia 183 kilometers for the deepest earthquake there at 4.4 that one occurring just a short time ago there uh, late afternoon time frame the big island of Hawaii what's going on out here on the on the big island looks like Mauna Loa kicking up a little bit of activity along the northeastern Flank, it looks like uh, some very shallow earthquake activity kicking up no major changes to the volcano currently we'll check out the hands notification system here in a little bit uh, although down here along the southeastern flank still pretty active offshore inland as well one earthquake down he down here south of Loihi Seamount with a 2.4 at 10 kilometers looking at the west coast up and down the board yeah what do we got a bit of movement up here along the northern California area just off the Cascadia subduction zone 2.1 down there at about 22 kilometers and some scattered activity throughout the Bay Area up and down the San Andreas Fault as well Long Valley super volcano not a whole lot going on looks like the swarm has temporarily paused no major swarming activity to take note of here in Southern California next to the San Andreas Fault the San Jacinto Fault zone though is pretty active with uh, quite a few microquakes around the area near the, uh, what is that? Um, Idlewild? Is Idlewood? it Idlewood? Is it Idlewood maybe? I don't Wood? know. I don't know. It's... Idlewood. Idlewood? Is that, I, I don't know. I've <laughs> never heard of it. I know Anza. I know. I know. I can never pronounce that okay. word specifically. How do you guys pronounce that? Let us know in the comments <laughs> below. That, that'll be your, that'll be your uh, assignment tonight, folks. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, pretty cool. Yeah, I've, I've never been able to pronounce that correctly. So, uh, the Pinnacles area definitely seen some activity. I've seen popping up there as well. Uh, Alcatella Wells. But aside from that, the area that we like to watch here is pretty quiet tonight around the Salton Sea. No major activity around the Imperial Fault Zone southward. Uh, movement around Nevada is still pretty consistent out there in the area. Looks like north of the Warm Springs area. Quite a few twos and threes kicking off here. Somewhat deep as well. Uh, deepest one for right now, 17 kilometers beneath the desert out there in Nevada. Uh, nothing going on throughout Yellowstone or the Pacific Northwest. Things pretty quiet. A couple scattered earth, uh, earthquakes 
around the Mount St. Helens area. Looks like uh, they're actually reporting three of them today. That's <laughs> that's a miracle. I'm kind of scared to check what the seismograph stations might actually look like. Because for the most part, they only report one every 20 or 30 earthquakes. So we'll check out that here in just a little bit. Uh, eastern part of the country. Another little aftershock out here in South Carolina next to the Elgin area with a 2.1. New Madrid zone showed some activity today with a 2.7 near the Williamsville, Missouri area and also the New Madrid, Missouri area. 1.7 there, 2.7. Low activity kicking up there in that region of the world, of the states, I should say. Pecos, Texas, a little activity kicking up out there in the desert. Let's see what else we got for worldwide activity. Noticing a... Uh, We'll get to the South America region here in a little bit, but the Puerto Rico area has shown pretty much average movement throughout the day today. Just a couple twos and some threes in the mix there. But it, we're noticing a swarm of activity specifically in this area of the Peru Chile Trench. Quite a few fours down there, and they're deep as well into the Peru Chile Trench tonight. So uh, yeah. could be definitely could be building up to something a little bit bigger in that region. Deepest one showing like 200 yeah 228 kilometers 228 yeah That's definitely pretty uh deep. pretty deep there below the uh uh san antonio de los cobres argentina right Very nice. there we go it's pretty deep right there major player in some mega quakes out there in the south america region nothing going on throughout the atlantic area one earthquake way down here south into the uh uh, Mozambique. Mo Mozambique. Mozambique. No, Mozambique. 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 Mm Mozambique. -hmm. In Ham. What is this right here? Uh, in Hambane. In Hambane. Mozambique. Oh, awesome. Near the yeah. Okay. There we go. Four point seven. <laughs> Missy Mimi said it. So there we go. Hopefully we got it correct there. Four point seven out there at ten kilometers. Not a whole lot of activity we've seen out here recently, so that's kind of a new region of earthquake activity. Uh, let's see what else. The area around the Tonga Trench has been pretty quiet the past couple days here. I expect that to pick up in a big way. We've only seen a 4.8. Very shallow. Uh, very too. shallow earthquake activity back building here, but uh, I'm sure deeper activity is going to be in the mix here really soon around the Tonga area. And with the quiet activity, I think it could be a little bit on the larger side once things start kicking up. Yellowstone National Park, let's go ahead and cover that real quick. Uh, no earthquake activity report. There is some measurable uh, signal showing up here across the northwest corner of the park. Um, and it's pretty consistent with wind activity. Looking over here towards the northwest corner of the park, I did check out the Windy app and we have some gusts up there around 23 miles per hour. Uh, it looks like in the Yellowstone area, specifically over here around the western section. Uh, so that activity we're seeing there, uh, very consistent, like I mentioned, with uh, some wind events kicking up there around this area. Aside from that, no seismograph, or yeah, no seismograph activity, as far as earthquake activity goes here. Uh, looks pretty clear across the board. Trimmer map tonight, Let's make sure we refresh this, 26 epicenters. Looks like uh, Northern California and portions of Oregon up here uh, underneath the uh, Eugene area, a couple small trimmer events. Aside from that, no major trimmer movement currently. The volcanic seismicity map here, we'll check out Mount St. Helens and see what's being reported and maybe what's not being reported here. I see three earthquakes on the map in the red circles indicating some reported earthquake activity into the uh, earthquake catalog event. Uh, let's see what we got, a couple here. Looks like a little handful of earthquakes, very small microquakes in the Mount St. Helens area. And uh, some, show, some little, yeah, it looks like a little bit showing up here on the map as well uh, throughout the afternoon time frame. Aside from that, things look pretty quiet beforehand. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, EMSC data, we'll double check what's going on with these folks. And um, looks like a little activity kicking up here into the Indonesia area currently over the last hour, the 4.8. Uh, There's the uh, Myanmar, er Myanmar area with a 5.3. Uh, some movement again being picked up on this map. Some movement down there in uh, 
New Zealand too. Yeah, there's a couple. Looks like a couple fours kicking up here. They didn't report. USGS is not showing that. Let's go back to that map here real quick. Yeah, double check that. The only one showing is near Tonga. Yep. Yeah, look at that. They, they didn't pick up those fours. Absent, and they're known for reporting 4.0 and above. But some, yeah, it's a weekend, right? Let's party. Forget about the earthquakes. <laughs> Preliminary earthquake reports, who needs them? The big one hits, they'll know it. Oh, good lord. But it's true. <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. It's not like it's a lie. It seems like the weekends, they, they tend to slack, slack off a little bit. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think that's right, but I am not in charge of the USGS. I'm just here to report the data. And throw Maybe, it out to them right? <laughs> that they need to report. Right? Maybe <laughs> one day we'll be in charge of that reporting system, so who knows? We'll see what happens. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, definitely activity kicking up here. New Zealand area north, um, but still um, no deep activity. So that's an area to watch pretty closely for some further deep movement. Uh, volcano ha um, hazards. Let's go. Oh, what, what do we got going on here? An error with that. An error. Let's go ahead and check out the... Uh, that's kind of odd. I wonder why that's going on. Kind of scared me. Yeah. <laughs> what in the world? So it looks like Kilauea update here. We'll double check this. This latest update was put out today. Still sitting at an watch in orange level. <clears throat> or uh, watch for the alert level, orange for the aviation code. Uh, doesn't look like there's any significant changes noted around the area. Most of the activity has been confined to the crater like it's been for many months. Um, not the overflight measurements on June 17th indicated that the crater floor has seen a total rise of about 120 meters. Woo! And that 93 million cubic meters of lava has been effused since the beginning of this eruption on September 29, 2021. So that's how long it's been going on. Uh, pretty crazy, huh? Yeah. It's a lot of lava filling up that, uh, that crater area. Can't wait to see that thing overflow. Right. Might be a pretty cool photo genet uh, photo photo opportunity there. Right. Might have to fly out there and, and get some pictures of that. Let's go, babe. I would love to. I am ready whenever. I would love to. Hawaii is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. I've been there. Yeah, but I'm not into the big. We don't. Well, you don't have to go to hundred hundred thousand people on the beach. You don't have to go to Honolulu. I, but I put me on top of a uh, of a volcano, volcano and right? I'll be happy. I haven't been to the big island, but Oahu and Maui are both beautiful. So you were on Maui? I went to Maui and flew from there to Honolulu. Where's Maui? Or I see Maui. Maui's on the big island, is isn't Ma it? I, I don't know. I'm Ma Maui's right there. Oh, okay. The big, we yeah, this is there. The we landed there and we flew on a small plane to Honolulu. All right. Because there you have to get on the smaller planes to go island to island. Been pretty quiet there recently. I want to be, I'd love to be observing the Mauna Loa area and also the Kilauea volcano over here. I would love to be up here around the crater rim just observing the activity. So maybe one day, just maybe one day, we'll, uh, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll be live streaming from Hawaii. <laughs> right? Who knows? We'll do it for sure. <laughs> All right. What else we got, guys? The space weather activity tonight. Uh, let me jump on that real quick, then we'll bounce out of here. Pretty green across the board, 20% chance. That's pretty minimal at best. Uh, no major solar flaring expected from any of the solar flares that are currently facing Earth or facing away from the Earth. Things are pretty uh, pretty bleak. Not a whole lot going on. Looks pretty dull in my department. 97 here, the coronal hole will be turning into view. Looks like this is a little old. That was updated from yesterday. So the most recent activity looks like that coronal hole is going to be right about here facing the earth currently even though it's not marked you said you said the solar flares facing the earth. uh the coronal, the coronal hole holes. coronal hole is facing the yes. earth there you <laughs> go thank you you're very welcome thank you i've been out in the pool a couple days here in this heat and i think i've been out there too many times i'm a little bit burnt <laughs> a little bit sunburnt so what else we got here uh yeah not a whole lot going on looks like kpnx is uh down there in the low green level and, when uh, was that? That was Red last one. night. We had a, uh, a glancing CME hit us with some elevated plasma. The tilt here of the, it kind of tilted south here on the interplanetary magnetic field opened up uh, 
allowed some a lot of solar wind stream and plasma to flow in, which created those G1 class um, conditions last night. That's going to be right here, KP index of five. But uh, tonight things look a lot calmer. Not a, not a whole lot of elevated anything going on. So we'll see how well we'll see what the sun wants to do. I guess. Nice. Just kind of a boring event right now with the solar weather. Not cool, son. We need to get this thing active. <laughs> get it popping. All right, guys. Uh, we're going to bounce out of here and enjoy the rest of the Saturday evening. Uh, we hope everyone has a, a great night. And uh, we will chat you guys a little bit later. But make sure you guys please enter the 75,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, we're well over 120 entries already. And uh, we got 75,000 subscribers. So if you guys want to win some Earthmaster merchandise, shirts, maybe some coffee mugs, right. maybe a sweater, a hat, it'll be your pick. And some awesome artifacts, artifacts. from some the uh, Oregon coastline. Tsunami deposit samples that we dug up personally and identified. And you can see all the really awesome layers in in the samples so it's pretty cool if you like geology and and whatnot uh, it's a pretty cool little thing to put up on your dash uh or not your dashboard in the car that wouldn't probably work no nope. <laughs> but uh at home somewhere maybe in your office uh we need we need some earth master bobbleheads for the car no, no let's not let's earth not. master bobbleheads That'd really sweet. you'd look so cute really as a bobblehead <laughs> no let's not Let's not and say we did, okay? Okay. I can't believe you even thought about that. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. I had to add a little humor in here. Bobbleheads. Could you imagine that? That'd I don't be know. sweet. You and your Earthmaster shirt and your those sunglasses things, and hat. Those things have always freaked me out a little bit. I'm not a big <laughs> bobble fan, bobblehead fan. It's just, uh. <laughs> they're weird. They freak me out. I mean, they just sit there and they move and it's... I don't like that. It bugs me. <laughs> it bugs me a little bit. So, okay. All right, guys. Uh, what do we got? Who, who do we have up here in the live stream? Let's see what we got. Ooh, a whole bunch. Uh -oh. Thank you, Broken Wrench, for taking care of that uh, yeah. issue there. Happens every now and then. Good evening there, Robert. Still in SoCal. <laughs> Thanks for checking in. I love the seismographs. I know. I'm glad you found the uh, emojis there. Um, hey, Freebird. <laughs> yeah, thanks for taking humor. <laughs> thanks for uh, posting that link as well, Broken Wrench. Yeah, the uh, there's going to be spam, unfortunately. That's just ridiculous, right there. I know, right? Ridiculous. So, all right, guys, have a good day. Have a good night. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow sometime. Peace out, everyone. Have a good night, guys.